Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video I will be showcasing 3 full boosted teams without using characters from the new batch to beat the maximum difficulty the 9 star version of the new point event Diva of the World against Uta. In my opinion it is pretty important to recruit this free to play character because in the upcoming treasure map we will have the ability to super evolve Uta into a 5 plus version of herself and she has double special activation, so she definitely has potential. If you enjoy my One Piece Treasure Cruise content and you want to see more in the future, I would really appreciate it if you supported the channel by leaving a like and also subscribing to not miss out on future videos. Without further ado, let's challenge the new point event and defeat Uta. Team 1 will be one of the most optimal teams you can build without owning the new bats and will be using the new legend Uta alongside the new legend Sanks as friend captain and we have two supports in this team which are very important for stage number 3. We are using the free to play Straw Hats entering the Grand Line on Chopper and we are also using free to play Pedro on Brook. For this quest you are also going to need maximum despair and also bind sockets. You do not need to stall if all of your specials are maxed out because all of the units are boosted. In stage number 3 we have two variations, the despair one and the paralysis one. With the paralysis one you need to stall turn one and then proceed in the next two stages. With the despair one you can immediately proceed or take out Gordon in two turns, that is also fine depending on your slots. No special activation needed though. In stage number 4, after the preemptive, you want to activate V2 Chopper, who will completely get rid of the bind and also give you a color affinity boost and decrease the resistance the enemy has to cerebral attacks. And then you also want to activate your friend Captain Sanks' special for a full board of matching slots and also a chain boost. You want to activate both the Uta super class and special abilities. So you can get the attack boost and or boost and then increase them in the next stage and then you are ready to attack, very easily taking out Kobe and Bluno immediately. Regarding ship bind, it is inflicted but we are not actually going to deal with it. It's not that impactful with this team because we have lots of damage so we are just going to ignore it. In the final stage though versus Uta, she will technically be Q but we will transfer her to a strength type unit because of Sanks' super type. But first we want to activate Film Red Brook so he deals both with the damage reduction shield and the threshold that Uta has. Then you want to activate Tessoro to get a very good chain lock and deal with both of the chain debuffs. And then you want to activate Siki for a full board of guaranteed matching slots. And of course, finally, the super type ability of Sanks, our friend captain, to turn the enemy Uta into a strength unit and super easily defeat her by attacking only with our Q units. Team number 2 will be using the newly super evolved 6 plus Siki legend with a friend captain Super Sugofest Sanks. For this team, we do not need to stall once again, but the supports are different. We are going to use V16 plus Rayleigh on our Film Red free to play Luffy to reduce paralysis if it appears in stage 3 and also we are going to use V16 plus Sanji on Nami to get a chain boost and have an easier time in stage number 4. This time in stage number 3 though, if Despair appears we do not have a problem and we can proceed immediately because of Siki's captain ability. If paralysis appears then Rayleigh support will reduce it, then we stall one turn and turn 2 we can take out Gordon to proceed to the final stage. If you want to farm some matching slots on your Q units before entering stage number 3, feel free to do that. Now in stage number 4, after the preemptive, of course we need maximum bind sockets, we are going to activate Stampede Rare Recruit Nami to remove bind completely, Sanji will activate giving us a chain boost, then we activate our Captain Siki for a full board of matching slots and also an ore boost. And then we want to activate Film Red Luffy who will give us a universal 2x attack boost. Now you want to start your attacking chain with Nami who is not boosted properly and then with everyone else to defeat Kobe and Bluno in one turn. Without Sanji I am guessing the damage output will depend more on your Cotton Candy and also on the stat boosting supports you have on your units. For the final stage against Uta now, 
We have the same combo of Film Red Rare Recruit Brook and Tessoro and after the preemptive is complete, you want to activate Brook first and this time he won't remove block slots because we do not have an int captain but it does not matter anyway, our friend captain can do that. Brook though will completely remove the damage reduction and also the threshold Uta has and then you want to activate Tessoro to get a chain lock and deal with both of the chain debuffs and finally you want to activate the special and also super type of our friend captain he will give us a color affinity boost a full board of matching slots and his super type will turn Uta into a strength unit then you are ready to attack based on color advantage and defeat Uta Team number 3 won't be using Super Sugofest Sanks as friend captain in case you cannot find any. We are going to use Uta instead with a captain 6 plus Siki. For this team, we are also going to use Halloween Ace Legend support on Film Red Free to Play Luffy so we can reduce the bind in stage 4. And we are also going to use a matching slot support on Siki specifically. I am using Kizuna Margaret, you can use whichever matching slot support you want so he can have a guaranteed matching slot. Stage number 3 is no problem, if we are paralyzed Uta removes it, if we are despaired Siki removes it, so activate Film Red Luffy and super easily take out Gordon immediately to proceed to stage number 4. We do not need to use Luffy's special anywhere else, the damage is more than enough with Uta, so might as well use him here. In stage number 4 now, versus Kobe and Bluno, after the preemptive your socket will activate removing 3 turns of bind and the same will happen with ace. Now 2 turns are remaining, so activate the new free to play Uta unit to completely remove it and give yourself a chain boost. Then activate your friend captain for an attack boost and or boost, but also her super class to increase those in the next stage. Then activate Siki for a full board of guaranteed matching slots and then Zoro for a 3 turn chain lock. More than enough damage in this stage, so attack and take out Kobe and Bluno immediately. Have in mind while attacking that the Uta attack boost and or boost does not apply to Luffy and Zoro and Siki does not boost Karina with his captain ability. When you are aiming for maximum damage, always attack with these 3 units first. In the final stage, we cannot turn Uta into a strength unit this time, obviously because we are not using Super Sugofest Sanks, but that won't be an issue, even without color advantage, we can very easily defeat her and clear the quest. We still have an attack boost and an ore boost, and they will also be boosted. We still have the chain lock from Zoro dealing with the chain debuffs. We can get a guaranteed matching slot on Siki. And then you only need to activate Karina to deal with the defensive effects and get a full board of matching slots in case of block slots. Then attack in this order, Luffy, Zoro, Karina, the new free to play Uta, Siki, ending on your friend captain for the final tap ability to activate as well and then for you to clear the quest. And these are my 3 full boosted teams to beat the new point event. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below and I will do my best to help out. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable and helpful, if you did I would really appreciate a like on the video and subscribe for more OBTC content. As always, thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.